Hello there, and welcome back to the Star Wars headquarters, your one place stop for all things Star Wars. And yes, Halloween is just around the corner, and we at Star Wars HQ love the spooky times, the costumes, the candy, the horror movies. All of it is great, and it's just a really fun time with family and friends. But as we all know, one of the most iconic parts of Halloween are the iconic monsters. So in preparation for Halloween, we thought it would be fun to rank the top 10 scariest creatures in Star Wars. And if you like Star Wars and are ready for the spooky season to be here, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and ring that galactic bell louder than Luke learning that Vader was his father. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. Starting off with the creature from The Empire Strikes Back, the Exogorths are just giant space slugs that could grow up to 900 meters long. That is insane. Typically found living in asteroids, the worms could swallow starships whole and house their own little ecosystem inside of them. And while they do have rather large teeth, this giant space slug comes in last due to acting more like a vacant parking lot for Han, Leia, and the rest of the Millennium Falcon gang to hide out from the Empire. It really didn't try to eat anybody or do anything, only until provoked when Han shot it. So in other words, you could say that Han shot first. Next up on our list are Rancors, and Rancors are definitely not creatures to be messed with. They're scary looking, huge, and they're absolute killers. If trapped in an enclosed space, you are basically guaranteed death here when dealing with a Rancor. Their hides can withstand blaster fire, and they stand about 5 meters tall, which equates to about 16 feet. And it isn't even worth putting up a fight unless you're a Jedi. However, if you are not in an enclosed space with one of these ferocious beasts, then we think you would be okay, as these guys don't seem particularly fast. So maybe, just maybe, you can outrun them and get away. The Apex Predator from Dathomir is up next. Anyone who has played Jedi Fallen Order knows these guys are the absolute worst. They are the Nidak, and they are fast, hit hard, and when fighting in a group, they overwhelm you like no tomorrow. Actually, not like no tomorrow, more like there is no tomorrow. Their very powerful arms help them traverse, climb, and knock the living blazes out of you at very high speeds, and beating them requires precision, speed, and perfect timing and patience. If we had to choose between fighting a Nidak or a Mountain Lion, give us the Mountain Lion any day, because at least they don't have tusks and 10 times the arm strength of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And everyone's favorite Yeti, the Wampa, joins the list. The Wampa is one scary boy, just look at that face. Those are the eyes of a killer right there. And secondly, for someone so big, it sure is stealthy. It got Luke completely by surprise and immediately knocked him out. It then dragged him all the way back to his cave and found a way to hang Luke by the ankles. And what's even crueler is that the Wampa makes Luke watch him eat his previous victim before eating Luke, which is absolutely savage. So it appears that our Wampa here has a pretty developed mind to be as skilled as it is. Too bad it didn't think about how to fight against a lightsaber. And flying into number six is the Chirodactyl from Fallen Order. And basically, take a bat and make it the size of a suburban home, and you have the Chirodactyl. So let's take a look at this thing. The end of its wings have extremely long claws, and their wings can generate gusts of wind that push everything back in its path. Also, this thing is relentless as you have to fight it three different times and it only gives up after you make it drop from the skies of Dathomir. Life lesson here, just never go to Dathomir. Avoid it at all costs. There's nothing there that requires vacation time. The only sightseeing you'll get are creatures that will want to kill you. Avoid Dathomir at all costs. The creature marking the halfway point on our list is the Ravenac from episode one of The Mandalorian. And like number six, we believe that Dave Filoni said something like, hey, you've seen a walrus before? Let's do that, but 10 times the size. And that is exactly what this creature is. It makes it to the number five spot due to how killer this beast is. If you are on its turf, it is only a matter of time until it snags you. With two giant tusks and a face that can only mean certain death, the Ravenac 
knows what it's about. Can you imagine how terrifying it would be to see this thing coming at you from under the ice? It's all over before it even began. And remember, Mando didn't even kill a thing. His only option was escaping, so he just gave it a nice little shock so it would let go of the Razor Crest. And that gives you a really good idea of just how terrifying the Ravenac really is. Swimming through the garbage comes the Dianoga from A New Hope. While not initially that scary looking, once you see what this thing looks like out of the water, it is the living fuel of nightmares. Like an octopus, the Dianoga's haunted mouth is underneath all of its tentacles, and its singular eye acts as a periscope to find its victims. And once found, it drags their prey under the water as it tries to reel them into its mouth. And that's not even the scariest part. Dianogas only live in garbage, meaning that while you're drowning and about to get eaten, you are drowning in disgusting water filled with whatever was thrown down there. The gross factor alone makes it earn the number four spot on the list. We knew we wanted to add at least one of the creatures from the Geonosian Arena, and after careful consideration, the Ackley was our choice. This thing is an absolute tank, armed with six claw legs, the front two being pinchers, as well as a hard shell, razor sharp teeth, and an organ under its chin that actually detects the electricity coming from its prey. The Ackley is not something you want to be trapped with. These things are ferocious and agile, able to move and kill at very quick speeds. Its roar, while super cool, is really piercing and strikes fear into its prey. Anything that can strike fear into Obi-Wan Kenobi is something that deserves a pretty high spot on the list. So far on this list, we've had space worms, a yeti, giant bats, and a screeching crab. So you may be asking yourself, Star Wars HQ, what could top all of that? Good question, but you forgot life's most important parable. There's always a bigger fish. And that bigger fish is our number two creature, the Sando Aqua Monster. While not having a very prominent role when it appears and not appearing since, the Sando Aqua Monster definitely makes sure to let everyone know not to mess with it. With a muscular cat-like body, razor sharp teeth, finned claws, and the ability to grow up to 200 meters, Sando over here makes it nearly impossible to beat him. And if we saw this thing in the ocean, I don't think there'd be even any point in trying, and thankfully, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Jar Jar were not what the Aqua Monster wanted that day. And claiming the number one spot for the scariest creature in Star Wars is the Vixus on Umbara, and with putting together this list, we were trying to decide whether or not to add the Sarlacc to it, but we thought, why not just add the deadlier Sarlacc? And that is exactly what the Vixus is. It has an insane reach with its strong, vine-looking tentacles, menacing teeth, and a forked tongue to latch its prey before it enters its mouth. The Vixus almost took down an entire clone squadron alone, as its skin is resistant to blaster fire. It was only defeated when Fives threw a grenade into its mouth. Even so, the fact that you can randomly come across these things on Umbara, immediately get swept off your feet and eaten, makes the Vixus the scariest creature in Star Wars. And of course, this list is up for debate. We had a hard time deciding which creature is the scariest, so who knows, we may change our mind in the future and make a part two of this video and let us know what do you think about our list what creatures would you add tell us your thoughts down below in the comments if you like the video please click that like button and subscribe and as always stay safe and until next time may the force be with you always